okay match the following now we all know that nict does give match the following questions okay so now here as you can see uh, in column a you have things like pre pathogenesis early pathogenesis clinical horizon convalescence phase disability limitation column b you have things like follow through treatment to recover rehab epidemiological trial clinical symptoms incubation period now please don't think that this is a new topic or it has never been asked okay no it has been asked previously also in a different manner the topic is again repeated okay in this topic we are going in this question basically we are referring to natural history of disease okay what is natural history of disease how a disease evolves or progresses okay how a disease evolves or progresses okay evolves or progresses without any intervention progresses without any intervention i mean if we don't do vaccination at 9 completed months for measles and if a child acquires measles like what is the process of having measles okay without any interventions now you remember it had three phases okay one phase was like it had different phases i mean one phase was in the environment when we are exposed to the risk factors okay that is pre pathogenesis okay that is pre pathogenesis then there is exposure the agent enters our body once there is exposure the agent is in our body we do not immediately go on to develop signs and symptoms right so there is a stage of subclinical disease yes there is a stage of subclinical disease which is early pathogenesis okay early pathogenesis here there is no signs and symptoms can we identify a person at this stage yes by uh, the person has no signs and symptoms but we can screen the person and identify at this stage right that is this okay then as if we miss out anybody at this phase the disease progress is right there is onset of signs and symptoms one signs and symptoms come late pathogenesis ho gaya theek hai so we can apply we have to provide appropriate treatment so again we are doing a secondary level of prevention and once you have signs and symptoms you have d for diagnosis the usual uh, time of diagnosis okay and then the outcome so if you look at the first one pre pathogenesis okay so pre pathogenesis is which phase follow through treatment no rehabilitation is tertiary phase no clinical symptoms incubation period no this is epidemiological trait okay that means pre pathogenesis is happening in the environment so agent host and uh, environment okay all are in equilibrium here we are just exposed to the risk factors theek okay? hai early pathogenesis like i said it's happening in the humans the agent has entered in our body okay so here what happens right now the person can be in the incubation period he has not developed signs and symptoms okay but we can still identify clinical horizon is when the person has went on to develop signs and symptoms so clinical symptoms and what is convalescence phase so convalescence phase is a phase which happens once the disease has developed right so follow through treatment and then to recovery disability limitation everybody we all know it's going to go with rehabilitation right so this is option number b okay so i've just mentioned this also interaction of epidemiological triad is important during pre pathogenesis this is happening in the environment guys okay then once the disease agent enters in our body early pathogenesis starts okay where which is subclinical stage so it is like relatively uh, the incubation period when the person has not developed any signs and symptoms then you have clinical symptoms they come so late pathogenesis and advanced stage so we are actually referring to this diagram okay this is from our textbook of park only if you see see period of pre pathogenesis this is in the environment and here as you can see there is equilibrium between agent environment and host okay and here the level of prevention is primary because here we are only exposed to risk factors then period of pathogenesis starts the agent has entered in our body here we have early and here we have late pathogenesis in early pathogenesis we can see that 
signs and symptoms are not there so we'll try to find out the disease by applying secondary level of prevention make an early diagnosis and provide treatment and then in late pathogenesis signs and symptoms are there we are actually treating the person okay so we have to uh, provide treatment and then if there are complications further limit the disability and provide rehabilitation okay so it was not a new topic altogether it was a same topic which has been asked before in this time they just repeated the topic in a different manner thank you so much